While Caitlyn Jenner is no longer part of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, many still want to peek into her life, and recently, she and her live-in business partner Sophia Hutchins showed outsiders a bit of their Malibu home. Shortly after her divorce from Chris, Caitlyn bought this secluded Malibu estate nestled on 11 acres above El Pescador State Beach. Today we'll be taking a look at this property as well as another spot Caitlyn called home over the years. We even found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Caitlyn Marie Jenner, born William Bruce Jenner, is a TV personality and retired Olympic gold medal winning decathlete. Jenner played college football back in the day before getting a bad knee injury that required surgery. From there, Jenner was convinced by an Olympic coach to try the decathlon. He continued on to a six-year career in the sport and winning the main decathlon event in the 1976 Summer Olympics. Jenner established fame as an all-American hero, as well as a career in TV, film, writing, auto racing, and even a Playgirl cover model. As you likely know, Jenner has six children with three wives, the most notable ex being Kris Jenner, thanks to the series Keeping up with the Kardashians. Caitlyn, then Bruce, appeared on the show alongside their daughters, Kendall and Kylie, since 2007. Assigned male at birth, Caitlyn Jenner came out publicly as a trans woman in April 2015, which made major waves in the media too. From 2015 to 2016, Jenner starred in the reality show I Am Kate, which focused on her transition, and a year later, she underwent gender reassignment surgery. Jenner has been called the most famous transgender woman in the world, and at the time of this recording, her estimated net worth is at about a hundred million dollars. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I noticed 95% of you aren't subscribed, so make sure you subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. We post a new video daily. We've looked at almost all of the Kardashian-Jenner family members on this channel because they have some gorgeous real estate, and now we're gonna look at where Caitlyn Jenner calls home. Let's see how her Malibu estates compare to the rest of the fam. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and and now let's get into this video. Before we check out Caitlyn's current home, let's look at the one she previously lived in, also located in Malibu. In 2020, this piece of Keeping Up With The Kardashians history went up for auction to the highest bidder, and fans of the show will recognize this house from season 10, where Caitlyn came out as a trans woman. The property was home to her during a crucial period of her life, and provided Caitlyn with a peaceful and quiet retreat away from Chris and the madness of the Kardashian-Jenner house in Calabasas. Caitlyn rented this Malibu beach house overlooking Le Choose a beach for 14.5k per month for several years, and it's the house she lived in on the show. The property was most recently listed at $7.9 million before that auction, and it was refurbished and updated just prior as well. The deck railings were replaced with clear glass to provide uninterrupted ocean and beach views, as if there weren't good enough views before. The newly remodeled gated estate boasts a direct beach access, an open plan layout, and 4,456 square feet of living space. According to listing materials, there's a dramatic tropical entrance to the home that opens to several different levels full of sunlight. Aside from the four beds and four baths, there are high ceilings, the main one with a skylight, light hardwood floors, and modern finishes. Just as you'd expect from a beach house, there are oversized windows and sliding glass walls that create an indoor-outdoor flow. The multiple living areas include a spacious chef's kitchen with a U-shaped dining booth and a den with fireplace directly attached to this space. Much of the house, including the master suite, offered high wooden beam ceilings, and at the top of the staircase, there was also a cute office nook. There was more space for entertaining and relaxing outdoors, with a large deck complete with fire pit and hot tub. Marketing materials also show there were plans to build a pool which may have already been installed. One major selling point of this home, aside from the perfect Pacific Ocean views, was also how it sat on the sand, just steps down to the beach. After living in that house, it seems Caitlin fell in love with living on the ocean, since she moved out of the rental only to buy a secluded home, also in Malibu. In 2015, she paid $3.5 million for the 11-acre property, which sits in a mound above El Pescador State Beach. Inside, the contemporary home spans 3,500 square feet with four beds and 3.5 baths. Fans may have caught a glimpse inside during Jenner's 2020 interview where she spoke about transitioning. That was in 2015, and sometime 
in 2017, Caitlin met Sophia Hutchins, who's now her roommate and business partner, and they lived together at the Beachy Enclave. Well, this is my little humble place up here on the top of a hill in Malibu. Caitlin even invited MTV inside her concrete and glass house for a Cribs tour last year, where she explained she didn't want a big house this time around as she's had them in the past. The camera takes viewers over to Caitlyn's awards table, which displays her Glamour Woman of the Year award, ESPYs, and more. I have the greatest double of all time. I won the Olympic decathlon and Glamour's Woman of the Year. That's this award right here. Caitlyn also introduces Sophia, who's turned one of the closets into an office, where she operates her own sunscreen company and manages Jenner's business affairs. While showing off Sophia's actual bedroom, Caitlyn points out a generous gift from Kylie as well. Kylie gave me this golf bag. I, I use it here as decorations. It's too expensive. What fans don't see is the amazing open floor plan of the home that includes a dining room with full wall of glass, step-down living room with fireplace, and kitchen with all white cabinets. Caitlin's house was built in 2010 and recently redesigned by South Pasadena based interior designer James Hernandez. Listing materials also state the property has radiant heated floors, indoor and outdoor fireplaces, and you can catch 360 views from wherever you are on Caitlin's property, whether they're of the ocean or the mountains. Amenities outside include a built-in grilling station, covered patio, and of course, a swimming pool and spa. In her MTV tour, Caitlin also shows off her glam closet, which definitely has it all, from plenty of designer shoes to bags and more. This Malibu estate is also where Caitlin and Sophia have naturally been spending the lockdown as well, or the majority of 2020, you could say. In spring of last year, Caitlin took to Instagram showing the view off of her deck, which looked at the surrounding hills and the crystal crystal blue ocean. She also stated she was going on a cleaning binge and posted pics of her vacuum cleaner. Sharing a video of her doing some housework, Caitlin wrote, The garage is perfectly clean, the cars are all washed, and now I'm down to the carpet. And it's a beautiful day outside, stay busy. Though that was a while ago, by the looks of her Instagram, Caitlin and Sophia are still keeping busy, alongside their two dogs, Bertha and Baxter. They've even been posting vids of what they've been cooking in the kitchen, and making some TikToks. So now we've taken a look at where Caitlyn Jenner calls home, and we can tell that she loves Malibu. She's upgraded from her beautiful rental there that costs over 14 k a month, to owning a home over the ocean that sits on 11 acres of land. That's some prime real estate if you ask me. What did you guys think about her homes? I loved both of Caitlyn's Malibu estates, but I liked her current one because it's more modest than you might think. It's still modern and fancy in the design with all the glass and upgrades, but it isn't too big or over the top. Be sure to rate her homes down in the comments. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my personal channel and check out my latest video. We'll link it for you. I love getting to know you guys better over there, so drop me a comment if you want to chat. Queen Victoria is here. I couldn't stand Victoria. Queen Victoria. First thing I said was, Rebecca Black, is that you? She literally looks like her so much. Thanks for tuning in. I'm still reading all of your comments and amazing suggestions on here, and I'm making notes. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and tell me whose house tours you want to see next. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.